today is President's Day, okay? It's President's Day. And as election 2424 gets closer, it's not 2024, is it? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, 2024. <laughs> I feel bad sometimes when I say these dates because I think, where did this come from? I know. Yes. How did it go fast? I missed like 19, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But it's, you know, election 2024, and it, it's getting closer. And this could be the first time in more than 50 <coughs> years that we will not see a presidential debate. And here's what the president and the Republican frontrunner have to say about it. Take a look. I don't think he's yeah. going to run. But I'd like to yeah. go for immediately debates. I'd like to debate him now because we should debate. We should debate for the good of the country. Donald Trump's ready to debate you right now. Do you accept? If I were him, I'd want him to debate me too. You got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> so a reminder that you know who, who also promised to debate in the primaries when it was a two-person race, yet still hasn't debated Nikki Haley. No. But if yeah. you know who becomes the nominee, do American voters need to see uh, Biden debate him on the issues? Yes, I think it's critically important for democracy, and here's why. We live in a media ecosystem where you can almost choose your own news, and some folks choose their own facts. So you can watch certain outlets, and you're only going to get one side of any story. It is critically important that the American people see the juxtaposition on issues, that they actually have to be able to defend their positions. They can't just say what the other person is for. They're going to have a chance to respond. But this is what's important. Donald Trump is notoriously hard to interview and to cover. I think they need three journalists there prepared to fact check in real time. But because they don't. He lies like he breathes. And that, that, but, ah. the vote, <laughs> but the voters deserve to hear from them directly. And my caution to Biden is, I get why he maybe wouldn't, but Donald Trump will lean into the narrative of he's hiding because he's not up to it, and voters will believe that if he doesn't show up. So he needs to show up in debate. So I, I disagree with you, actually. Yeah. I, I, and I say that because normally my gut would tell me it's good for democracy. I caveat that with if we did not know these two men as well as we do, it would be more important for them to be debating. The problem is, for the reasons you just spelled out, Donald Trump comes on and without, I wish they'd put him in phone booths and cut mics after a certain amount of time because in addition to the fact, fact checking, he over talks, gaslights and everything else. So the, oftentimes the comparison to Donald Trump makes anyone look less than on some level. You know, like, I know he looks crazy too, but remember how he'd like come behind Hillary when she was like, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. he was like always hovering. hovering. He has these like nonverbal cues that could lead some to believe, oh, he's so strong or he's this, but he just blows the whole thing out of the water. And if he hasn't debated anyone yet, the only debate I would like to see is him and Nikki Haley. If I'd he would debate Nikki Haley, I would support that. I don't think Biden needs to since Donald Trump has done nothing to participate in this democracy since he lost. Uh, Hillary. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say, Hillary should have said to him, get away from me, you orange menace. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she should have said she that. She should have kicked her and, foot backwards yeah. and, and hit and him and where Joe it hurts. And Joe Biden, I believe he said, shut up, man, or be yeah. quiet, man. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there is that. But, you know, the truth of the matter is, the research shows that presidential debates have minimal, if any, influence on election outcomes. Yes. People don't remember it. These two, this is like a replay of, a play of 2020. We've seen the movie. Uh, and the, the media does not fact check. It's almost impossible it's to, do to do it. I, I like the mic true. cutting. That's the, really important. The last Stop time a debate really worked was back in the, the Ice Age when Nixon debated JFK. JFK. Yep. And yeah. everybody who listened to the radio said that Nixon, Nixon won, won the debate. Yeah. And if you watch it on television, they said that John Kennedy won because he was <laughs> handsome, he was vibrant. And Nixon was sweating. And Nixon and was swarthy yeah. with a beard and looking like a real menace. I just, you know... I don't think I need to see someone who has been twice impeached and is a disgrace and a one-term president with 91 counts facing him. I think it legitimizes him. I don't need to That's be true. gaslit by Trump. We all know who he is. We all know what he stands for. We also know that Biden debated him twice and just, like, sort of mopped the floor with him. If you look at any of the studies, yeah. every Ameri most Americans that watched it thought that Biden won, not only on policy but on demeanor especially. Does this person have the temperament to be the president? We know who Donald Trump is. I don't think you give him that type of platform. But I really also, if, if Biden flubs... Yeah. They'll go, be all over him. If Trump flops, but if he doesn't well, show up, they'll be all over him. But here's the thing. A lot has happened since 2020. 
January 6th hadn't happened. Donald Trump needs to have to stand next to Joe Biden, and Joe Biden needs to call him out on the unfitness, because the reality is we but all at this lies. table... You know, He's say he had nothing to do with it. At this table, we all know who Donald Trump is. Nearly 80 million people voted for him. They need to see the juxtaposition of the two yeah, leaders. Yeah, but they know. They, 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 listen, they know who he is. They sure do. They know who he is. There's, there is no like one it. left standing in America but, who isn't aware that this person... <laughs> Wants Percy to. Orange yes, menace. I, I'm not going to go. I, I, you know, I, I refuse. I won't. But what I do know is Jill can stand there and tell people everything he's done, mm -hmm. and it, he can do it till the cows come home. You know, it's matter. not it's not going to matter. Can I say one more thing, though? This is an election where there are a lot of political, the most politically homeless Republicans you've probably ever seen in modern history. People like me who cannot vote for Donald Trump, but they still want to hear answers on policy. But so we he, need Biden to can lose and he can lose in a debate. Trump will not. The people supporting Trump will support him whether he's there or not. But that makes supporters. one mistake. And people that are undecided right. are out. And we out. do know he's a stutterer. And, and, and I will tell you, I think we've talked about this off camera. Those people that are never Trumpers, those people that really want to put uh, country before party, those people that want to save this democracy, all you need to do is vote but, for Joe but Biden. But we want to hear from him simple. on policy. And I want to well, see him what, take on Donald Trump directly. Thing. You know what his policies are because he's been, he's been marking yeah. them off every there is couple gonna... of weeks. And listen, I, mean, I don't I... care what they do yeah, when they debate or don't debate. I just want to make sure that everybody in the audience at home and in this room knows that this is their responsibility. Yeah. We are all responsible. So the bottom line is, you know, you can, you can put 91, 81-year-olds in a room and it will freak people out. It just will. But you put one crazy man in the room and people, you know, they just go nuts. Personally, I'm happy with whatever they choose to do, as long as we go out and make our decision about the country we want to But live. for what it's worth, I agree with Sonny here. I think Joe Biden beat Donald Trump in both Twice. of the last debates. Handily. I hands down watching him think he did. Yeah. If he is capable of doing it, which I think he can on policy, he mm -hmm. needs to show up and do it or Trump Except will Except he doesn't because he's done him. it twice. Yeah. He's done it twice. But the, the man world looks different now. We've got a war in Ukraine. We've got a war in I mean, Israel. Is like, there's going to be available. But he may be yeah, behind bars. He, he does say, well, he always says, know. you know, I'm going to do it. And then he doesn't do it. So you know what? If he says, I'm going to do it, then let's ask Joe if he's going to show up. Because until then, Joe got stuff to do. I want him to start fixing stuff that needs to be done. We all remember the ridiculous moment where Donald Trump on a debate stage, stage said, stand back and stand by to the Proud Boys. Yeah. That might have lost him a lot of the election. Like, it's, I don't buy this that, like, if Trump's up there, he's going to beat Biden necessarily. I don't, listen, but I do know if Biden doesn't show up, Trump is going to I don't think victory. anyone's invited anybody to do anything. I don't think it's a question of whether Biden's going to show up. Biden has always showed up. Mm -hmm. It's crazy who has never and showed up. And he's a trickster.